So, what do we know about the B-21 Raider? It is the world's most advanced stealth bomber, designed to embody lethality, resilience, protection, agility, and flexibility. It is created to defeat the main adversaries of the US, Russia, and China. In mid-January 2024, this aircraft completed another test flight at the Edwards Air Force Base in California. And shortly after, the Pentagon announced that it had ordered the first batch of these aircraft. The exact number of times the B-21 has flown is unknown, as everything related to this high-tech aircraft is shrouded in deep secrecy. The B-21 will become the main U.S. tool for air strategic deterrence in the coming decades. It will allow the U.S. Air Force to stealthily penetrate the battlefield and manipulate the conflict in the interests of the Pentagon, balancing between nuclear deterrence and conventional strikes in a highly competitive combat environment, conduct joint operations with allies, as well as outsmart and outpace adversaries, maintaining a decisive advantage. The Raider takes stealth to a completely new level thanks to lessons learned from decades of work on stealth technologies, such as the B-2 Spirit, X-47B, Y-23, F-117, F-22, and F-35. What do we really know about this futuristic monster? First, the primary role of the B-21 is to penetrate densely layered enemy air defenses, deliver a massive strike, and return to base without losses, facilitated by nearly limitless range and a new level of stealth technologies. They make the Raider a more advanced invisible compared to the B-2 Spirit, achieved through advanced materials and new production technologies. Second, resulting from the first, the aircraft will be simple and relatively inexpensive to maintain thanks to the durability of the materials mentioned and due to design features that avoided unnecessary elements and joints. Third, the communication tools will make the Raider a hub for communication and exchange of intelligence information with other platforms. As a result, it will not only be able to independently perform strike operations, but also assist other machines in the air, on land, and at sea. Fourth, the open architecture will ensure that the aircraft keeps pace with the times, guaranteeing that the B-21 remains an advanced bomber even in 50 years. This means that the aircraft uses a modular systems approach, allowing for the replacement of outdated modules with advanced ones as technologies develop and new threats emerge. This is much faster and more economical than the old way, where each new technological leap required scrapping the entire machine and starting from scratch. Fifth, advanced computer-aided design allowed for simplifying the aircraft creation process, making the first model as close as possible to the production version, and testing the Raider even before its first real flight by running corresponding digital simulations. This approach not only reduced development costs, but also accelerated it. As a result, it took only eight years from receiving the contract in 2015 to the first flight in November 2023, which is a short time for such a large-scale project. The most striking feature of the B-21 flying in the skies of California is its perfect form. The entire aircraft is one smooth line. Individual features and protrusions are minimized. The air intakes are wonderfully minimal, reducing direct visibility and organically integrated into the flying wing design. The internal air duct's support strut is barely visible, a revelation compared to the B-2. The engines are exhaust-free and integrated into the overall structure as if they do not exist. It remains a mystery how the designers managed to hide from radar and even simple visual observation the hot gases inevitably emanating from such a machine. Well, just look at this aircraft. You know, the B-21 looks imposing. But what's under the frame and the space age coatings is even more impressive. Let's talk about the B-21's range. No other long range bomber can match its efficiency. It won't need to be based in theater. It won't need logistical support to hold any target at risk. 
Let's talk about the B-21 Stealth. 50 years of advances in low observable technology have gone into this aircraft. And even the most sophisticated air defense systems will struggle to detect the B-21 in the sky. Witnesses who were able to closely observe the B-21 stated that no openings for sensors responsible for missions, communication, and flight were visible. There were no seams, which usually accompany the joints of heavy composite parts of such bodies, except for small grooves around the cabin windows, but even these were visible during the presentation in December 2022 only in close-up photographs. New possibilities in materials science, construction, and design allow for the assembly of large composite parts, avoiding a large number of connecting points. This not only positively affects stealth mode, but also significantly reduces maintenance costs. Another advantage of the B-21 over the B-2 is the absence of a sharp beak on the radar. Instead, the new aircraft has a neat nose finish that does not stand out from the overall contour, contributing to overall invisibility. Stealth improvement compared to the B-2 is also achieved through other improvements, which, like those previously described, are aimed at making the new aircraft as monolithic as possible. First, due to its lighter weight, the Raider only needed two tires on each rear strut, unlike the larger and heavier Spirit, which needed four. This was an important task, to leave as few moving parts in the design as possible, each of which carries a risk of increased visibility. Second, the area of the windows is minimized. The span of the front glass is reduced to the bare minimum, and the curved side windows are more like slits for peering rather than full-fledged openings for viewing. This is logical. The choice between allowing pilots to bask in the sun at an altitude of 20 kilometers and reducing visibility aspects by expanding the stealth coating area was made in favor of the latter. This is even more justified considering that F-35 pilots do not need windows at all. They view the surrounding space through a special helmet with a 360-degree view. Can we assume that Raider pilots will be left without such helmets? Hardly. Third, pigmentation. Unlike the blue-black-brown B-2 Spirit, its newborn younger brother has a light gray shade. This is very important as it indicates the ability of the B-21 to freely carry out its missions not only at night, as in the case of the B-2, but also during the day. The era when stealth bomber operations were limited to nighttime is ending. Currently, while this particular Raider is conducting test flights, five B-21 Raiders are in production at various stages of readiness. One of them will be used for ground tests, and the others will be able to perform full combat tasks. Dr. William LaPlante, Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment, stated that the key attribute of the B-21 program is to ensure as fast a transition as possible from testing to mass production of a large number of units to maximize its capabilities to deter strategic adversaries. The B-21 will become a real nightmare for the Russian and Chinese regimes. Neither Beijing nor Moscow in their developments have even come close to the B-21. Moreover, both countries have failed to replicate anything similar to the B-2 Spirit, the direct predecessor of the Raider, which was developed more than 30 years ago. Meanwhile, the U.S. has 40 years of experience in creating and using combat stealth platforms, and the total number of their stealth aircraft far exceeds 1,000 units, including the F-35, F-22, and B-2 Spirit, each of which has been repeatedly used in real combat. This is especially true for the Spirit. These aircraft participated in all major battles of the last 30 years without combat losses on their side. There was not a single case of the aircraft being hit by enemy air defenses. There was not a single case when an enemy radar managed to detect the aircraft in the sky. There was not a single case when an enemy fighter managed to approach the Spirit. The only major drawback of the Spirit program is the too small number of these aircraft, only 20. The more advanced B-21 Raider program will not have this shortcoming. The Pentagon plans to order at least 100 of these aircraft, and in 2021, 
the figure of 145 units was mentioned. Their first batch will enter service in the second half of this decade. Nevertheless, even now, when the Raider is already slicing through the sky, nothing is known about its characteristics such as speed, size, construction, level of stealth, onboard sensors, the number and type of engines, as well as the projected armament. When will we be able to learn all about this? Possibly never, or these characteristics may become extremely unpleasant surprises for the U.S. enemies. There is increasing talk that Vladimir Putin's next target of aggression may be a NATO country. That is why the B-21 will become a very relevant tool to counter the brutal dictatorship of the Kremlin. The question is whether Russia will be able to counter America in the field of stealth bombers, especially now as the sanction pressure on Moscow becomes increasingly severe.